Good day, everyone. Welcome to my channel, BST African Electronic Surgery. And uh, let's fix something. We do have this laptop. This is a laptop. Let me see the model of the laptop. It's a lap HP ProBook 11 G2. The laptop came in as no power. It's not doing anything. Let's test the charger voltage. Well, the charger is already plugged in power. Check on the screen, 20 volts. Plug in the charger. We must have even light here. No light. Trying to power on the laptop. It's just dead. No life, no anything. Unplug the charger. Checking the charger voltage again. We have zero volts. So soon as we plug in the charger, the charger is going on protection mode. And we don't have voltage here. So in order to get the voltage again, we must unplug the, the charger. Let me unplug the charger. Plug back the charger. Let's check again. Now we have 20 volts. So what does that mean? That means we have a shorted motherboard. That's a good sign indication of a shorted motherboard but we'll see taking out the battery let's try to get inside the laptop hopefully it's fixable Hopefully it's fixable. So if you see something like that, you plug in the charger and the voltage disappears. That means something is not right with the motherboard. In most cases, it's a short to ground. But you will see. Because in electronics, any fault can behave in any way. Not always the case. We'll see why. Why the charger is going on protection mode soon as we plug in the charger? I wish this could be a simple fault, like a shorted capacitor, shorted MOSFET. And I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Power supply. Let's come with. Let's come with the nine volts, nine point something volts on the main power rail. I just want to confirm if we have a shorted motherboard or not.
Yeah, we have a shorted motherboard. There's voltage drop to 2.74 and it's taking 3 amps. Okay. Something is shorted. Something is shorted. So let me take down. Yeah, we still have many screws. Let me take down all the screws and try to get inside the laptop. Let's see now. Let's see now. That's the other side of the motherboard. What you can check here. You can check on the ceramic capacitors for short. And I can't see any short. And I can't see any any damaged component or a blown up component from this side. So I believe we have to check the other side of the motherboard. Because our MOSFETs they are coming from the other side of the board. How should I take this out? So We have to find out why this board is behaving like this. That's the motherboard. So why? Why? Why the motherboard is behaving like this? Any idea? The plus So what is taking that current? What is taking that current? Plus 3 amps. Oh. We have that diode which is meant to protect the the motherboard in case of any short. Is it is getting hot this one? But uh, I need to check something. If the main 19 volts power rail is shorted, how do we confirm that?
So, checking on the current sensor to ground is not shorted. Checking on the input, the plus wire, the plus wire is shorted to ground. So, the main power rail, the main power rail is not shorted. It's taking like 47 milliamps. 14 milliamps you can see on the screen with 9 volts so i think i know what is the problem i think i know what is the problem let's go under microscope let's go under microscope let's go under microscope We do have the charging port here. Where am I? That's the charging port. And you can see this big power trick. This one. That the plus. It is coming here through this capacitor. Ceramic capacitor. And next to that, we have this diode. And it's going here. You can see this. This looks like current sensor. Okay. And we have MOSFET. We have. I think this diode is our problem. Let's see. Let's see. But I think we have a problem with this diode. Let's inject some power. I will inject some power. Check the diode. It's drying quickly. What? After, after the two MOSFETs on the current sensor, I injected 9 volts and it's taking 14 milliamps standby current. And on the plus of the charging port, if I come with same voltage 9, you can see it's drying quickly. So that is our, that is our problem. That is our problem. Let's take down the, the diode. Let's take down this diode quickly. You know, sometimes you are lacking. Ah, the dart is shorted. Our diode is out. So the question is, are we going to replace this diode? That's the question. Are we going to replace the diode? Hmm? Are we going to replace this diode? No. We are not going to replace this diode because I know exactly what this diode is doing. And even if the laptop,
even if we took out the diode, the laptop will still work fine because our customer is protection still on the charger, okay? So if we check now, it's not shorted anymore. So let's put it all together and test the motherboard. We must have a working laptop. We must have a working laptop. So without that laptop that diode, the laptop will still work fine. Because on the power pack still On the power pack still, the customer still the customer has protection on the charger. Yeah, that was an easy repair ever. I wish I could get such kind of repairs, such kind of, of faults, I mean. Getting such kind of faults every time will make me feel better. Why? Okay. I'm aligning pins. Why is it hard to, re to put back this motherboard in place? Now better. I'll plug all the connectors. We must have a working laptop without that diode. Let's try one more time. Let's try to power on the laptop. Plug in the charger. Plug in the charger. Let's check some voltage. Do you have voltage on the on the motherboard? That is a very good question. Twenty volts, 
3.3 you can see on the screen so I'll try to power on the laptop with a tweezer by shorting pins to ground first pin which pin should I short Pin number four. We can't. I think we need a switch. We can't zero. Twenty volts. Nineteen. On the nineteen, we have nineteen on the switch. Okay. Why do you have 19 on the switch button? 3.32. Let's try to power on with the switch. I'll connect the switch here and we'll try to power on the laptop. On. Just a flashing light. The board is on, but we have nothing on the screen. Hmm? It's on, you can see here. It's on, but nothing on the screen. Why? Hmm? Why we don't have picture? Let me unplug here. Let's refit the screen connector properly. Let's refit the RAM. Let's try to power on the laptop again. On. And we have picture. Yeah, it's trying to reset some settings. And it's working. Hmm? You see the writing? Boot device not found. Please install operating system because the hard drive is missing. So this job is done. So let me put it all together and you do the final test, okay?
I just finish putting all the screws together, the battery, the keyboard, everything. And it's now, it's now time to do the final test. Now time to do the final test. Plug in the charger. Power on. HP log. You can see the HP log. What about loading windows? And it's loading windows. It's loading windows. So it seems as if the, this job is done. So what did we learn from the video? We learned that that diode, which was before the two MOSFETs, uh, can die. Yeah, any component is meant to die. But I never uploaded a video like a shorted diode to ground. So the shot was before the two MOSFETs on that diode and what that diode is doing is protecting the motherboard against shots like you use you, use you you showed the plus and minus and that diode will die and protect the rest and protest the, the rest of the components on the motherboard. That's what that diode is doing exactly. So our laptop will still work fine without that diode because the customer still has protection on the charger. Okay? So, yeah. Secondly, I didn't know that this laptop is working. Windows updates, 100%. I didn't even know that uh, this kind of laptops that are working with 19 volts on the screen connector. On the screen connector, we found 19 volts. I thought maybe something is wrong, but it's working fine. That's how the, de that's the design of the laptop from the manufacturer. So it's good when you learn something. Yeah, it's working on updates. Now it's restarting. So yeah, that was the repair. I'm happy. We managed to fix it. And the customer will be happy also. Don't worry about replacing the diode. On the power pack, the customer still have protection there. So, it will work fine without. I just need to wait to see. Yeah, it's working on Windows. Working on updates, 30%. So let's wait. Let's give it time. Yeah, it's now finishing up. Restarting several times. Hope we are, we are about to go to the user password screen menu. But it seems everything is working. I just need to, to test like the keyboard. The fan is spilling is spinning silently. Hmm? This is a beautiful laptop. Should be 14.2 inch or 14 point something i3 processor. And uh, I forget to check the RAM, but it must be 8 gig RAM, DDR3. This looks smart and portable. Yeah, I'm trying to, lo to load Windows, final loading of Windows.
and Monday, October 3rd, you can see date and time here. The, the touchpad is working. The keyboard, there's username there. The keyboard is responding. So, I'll stop this video now. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And see you on the next one. Bye.